my use, use case is um, something called um, repast, um, which is um, is an example of um, an agent-based simulation infection model, which is which has been implemented implemented using um, repast symphony. Um, and this uh, repast symphony is an agent-based simulation toolkit. Then for the for the use case as well, um, there are three um, types of agents. Um, which are um, the infected um, um, agents, the susceptible agents, and then the recovered agents as well. And this, all these agents form uh, some, something called a um, population. And then all agents are um, actually randomly um, infected, and they are located in um, a grid environment. Now, what happens is um, the susceptible agents try to like avoid contact with um, infected agents. And then when um, an agent, uh, when an infected agent approaches um, a cell, with um, with a susceptible agent, it if infects one which is randomly selected, and then um, this susceptible agent um, then becomes infected as well, and then it can infect other um, susceptible agents in turn. Then the infected sus and susceptible agents are then are the input parameters um, that the user can modify in um, order to experiment with different initial conditions. And then the user can also specify the um, time and years that the simulation is going to run for. And that's basically the um, summary of the, of the use case that we developed using the Catania Science Gateway Framework. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very, very important because um, normally um, using this kind of um, 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 use case, um, you normally use um, stuff like um, command line interface to run it in your own um, local environment. So that could be kind of like difficult for maybe like a non-technical person to use. Um, someone that is coming from uh, maybe like a non-technical background is going to find those kind of environment to use and then it might actually, you know, discourage them from maybe like adopting this kind of um, use case. So in a way, I mean, using this um, interface and science gateways and stuff like that, I mean, it's going to encourage many people to adopt the technology, which in, in a way is, is a good thing. So yes, that's helped in a way. And then secondly as well, I mean, using distributed um, um, infrastructures has enabled um, the, um, um, the um, running of, 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 of the um, experiment to be faster. And then, um, you know, you, uh, you are able to collect results in, 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 in good time as well. So yes, that's helped in, in, in these different ways.